All right, there we go. There's also considerations of how heavy do you want your robot to be. I'm okay with it. Not way more right now. I chose this center because I've always had a knack for wanting to build things. Like my family knows if I have something that they need help with or they're like, here's Ikea furniture that I don't want to assemble. You can do it for me. Or here's a Lego set that I'm struggling with. Please put it together. And I enjoy doing that. And I enjoy like everything that's behind it. Like, oh, how does this work? It provides a little bit of a challenge. And it's fun though, because you get to learn like different aspects of how things work. Like everyday things like bridges, stairs, um, when you're simply pulling on a rope, you get to learn how those things work. In the center, we take a lot of classes like statics and uh, engineering economics. They also taught me how to use CAD software, uh, code in MATLAB. I like like the classes that we take, and I love math, and I enjoy science, and our teachers that we have make it very easy to, and digestible to learn. In your typical high school, you just take normal classes, maybe do a couple projects. But in the engineering center, they kind of uh, drill the math and science concepts into you. And you get to do like more fun projects uh, instead of just like PowerPoint presentations and stuff. Okay, so we did this project with this like ball and it, uh, you basically kind of program it and it changes colors. And we had a race around the school with these like moving balls and it was like a little controller and it was so much fun. Me right now, I'm building like three different airplanes. Like, one is an RC, one is a free flight model, and another is a flight endurance model for TSA. I love our community. I love each and every one of our friends. It's kind of like you become somewhat of a family. It's a very close-knit group of friends, really. And because we are so close, it makes it really easy to just say, hey, if I need help, can I ask you for help? with XYZ and then people are more willing to lend a helping hand. Just by talking to your teachers, you can get internships, you can get scholarships, you can develop a portfolio and all of this just comes with the center. It's regular school, but you take a bunch of engineering geared or based classes. So you're more familiar with engineering when you leave the school. Once I go into college, I wouldn't have a lot of problem learning the concepts there since I don't have to learn everything in college from scratch and they already built the foundation for me. It was just what I thought would be the best career path for me because obviously I wanted to help people and I also wanted to go into a field that I didn't really see many people like me are in. So I thought, you know, I could help people, I could get a good career and I could show people that, you know, you could basically do anything you want. So just a really interconnected group of people who are taking a bunch of science and math classes together and just trying to get through engineering and learning what there is to learn.